Hello everyone and welcome to this next video in our series. This time I'm going to be helping you impress Mark Zuckerberg himself using JavaScript. Obviously this problem was given by Facebook, formerly known Facebook, now Meta. So let's read the problem and see a solution. Given a string S consisting of words and spaces, return the length of the last word in the string. A word is a maximal substring consisting of non-space characters only. Now I am going to control Alt delete over here. And just so I can clear my writing board, I'm going to use black because I think it's just looking far better than the red. Now, there are two things that we need to actually figure out. And uh, the first one is to find where the last word actually begins. So where the last word begins. So we need to keep track of that. And the second one is obviously count the characters that the last word has. So count characters, count the chars. Okay, so let's actually see how are we going to perform this. Now, what I can do is if I take the string over here, so let's say hello world is going to come up here and I'm gonna write it down, hello world. And I'm going to be placing two spaces after the world, just so you can see the idea. Uh, it's pretty much the same, like fly me to the moon, but I just wanted to, uh, to do it with hello world as well. Now, since I'm searching for the last word, right? And uh, I do not know the shorthand for writing a perfect circle or a figure. That's why I'm just going to draw it here. And um, the hello world is going to be the following. So I'm just going to start from the end. I'm searching for the last word. So there is no point in me starting from the beginning and uh, making, up, making my way up through the last word. I can just start from the end. I'm going to go and I know that a word is actually consisting from non-space characters. So that's going to be world, line, right? It's going to be hello, it's going to be and, it's going to be something that doesn't, has a, doesn't have a space. So as soon as I see a space, I'm just going to skip over that. As soon as I see another space, I'm going to skip over that as well. And here, starting with the D, <laughs> I'm going to know that this is where the word is actually beginning. Now it's actually pretty simple. I can go all the way down, I like, until I find something that is not a letter. And of course, that is going to be our... Actually, not something that is not a letter, something that is a space, because we can have uh, hello, we can have something like this can have hello, question mark, world, and this is still going to be consisted of a word, right? So this is going to be the word with the length, what is this, six, if I counted that right. So I'm just going to be searching for something that is not um, something that is a space. This is going to indicate that the word is actually done. So that's pretty much it. I am going to do this, and that is when I will know that the word is actually beginning. Now, count the characters. Well, of course, as soon as I start uh, with the letter counting over here, as soon as I know where the word has actually begun, I can start keeping a track of how many letters until the next space. And this is going to be equal to my counting chars. So that's pretty much what we need to do. Control Z, so I can just return this thing that I have deleted. And now let's see this in action. The first thing that I want to do is to create a result that I'm going to be making equal to zero because if I receive an empty string, I'm just going to return that. Next, I need to keep a track of the word. So is the word starting? Is it started? What is the state of the word? So I'm just going to say word began and I'm going to be making equal that to false for beginning because we don't have a word yet. Now, as I said that I want to start from the end to the front, so I'm just going to say index is going to be equal to s length minus 1, then I'm going to say index is bigger or equal than 0, and of course I'm just going to mitigate that, so I'm going to make it smaller each and every time. Now here's the interesting part, I can just check if s of index is equal to a space, and word began, 
then I'm just going to be returning the result. So currently, I know that here with, why is it always ch choosing this uh, marker? So I know that if I have hello world over here or fly me to the moon or something else, it doesn't really matter. And I have tons of spaces over here, right? I can just go from here, but the word hasn't begun yet. I can come here, 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 and here at the D, I'm going to say, okay, the word has begun. So this is going to be equal to true now. Let's write it down. This is going to be equal to true. And then as soon as I see this next space over here, which is going to be equivalent to this check over here, right? And I know that the word has already begun. I am just going to return the result. So that's pretty much it. And all I need to do now is to keep track of the result. So I'm just going to check uh, else if SF index is not equal to to a space, not no, sorry. I am going to say word begun is going to be equal to true. And then of course, I'm going to say result plus plus. So that's pretty much it. It doesn't really matter that uh, word began is going to be true multiple times. That's not going to change the value. So that's going to be all right. And at the final stage, I'm just going to be returning the result. So that's pretty much it in JavaScript. It's pretty much the same thing as the C sharp, same deal. Let's run the code and see if we haven't messed up something. Okay. And let's submit. There's this wrong answer that I tried to record a video doing something else. All right. So that's pretty much it. Now, one other thing that's going to be pretty neat and uh, it's just getting rid of uh, the code is, is there a way for me to know where the last index is? So let's say that I am using this now. So let's space space, fly me to the moon. Here's space me. I can have two spaces here two. I can have three spaces here. The, and I can have million spaces here moon. So now obviously I'm just going to be required to return four because that's the length of the word moon. But instead of me going all the way from here, it's a rating like that, or as we said, from the back, even though that's simple now, but let's say that I can have like this. So more, more spaces over here. Is there a way to know this particular index? And what am I going to do if I know this particular index is, let's say 16, right? So this is found in place 16, for example, I don't know if it's 16, you, you can count it. And when I know it, what can I do to find the length of the last word? So the first thing that I need to do is to actually trim the message. Trimming the message removes every single space until we actually find a real world, world not world, word. So I'm going to trim all the way to fly and I'm going to trim all the way after moon. So I'm going to remove everything. Now, in the end, I'm just going to be left with another new string, which is going to be looking like this. Still going to keep the spaces here. So two, then three, the, then as I said, I don't know, million and moon. So currently I have this string. Now this is easy because I can just say dot last index of. So last index, I'm just going to say this. And I'm going to find this index over here. And the logic is the following. If I know that this string is uh, 20 bytes long, so 20 characters, and I know that the last index of um, my space is going to be 16, then I can just say 20 minus 16, right? Is going to be giving me what's left from the space to the end, which is going to be four. So that's what I'm going to do now. So the first thing that we want to do is to trim the message. So I'm just going to say let trimmed string is going to be equal to s dot trim. As I said, this is going to remove the spaces before the first word and after the last one. Good. Now I need to know the index of the last space. So keep in mind the last space is not going to be this one. It's going to be this one over here in the moon. It's going to be this one because uh, I'm just going to trim all of these. And of course, all of these. So the way I can do that is let last space index is going to be equal to our trimmed string dot last index of, and I'm going to be searching for a space. Good. And finally, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to return trimmed string dot length. 
not S length because S is the thing that's not trimmed, it's the trimmed string minus our last space index. So let's say minus our last space index. And here, what I want to do is to say plus one because I'm not really interested into the last space. I'm interested into the first character of the actual word. All right, and that's pretty much it. So let's see if this is going to work or if I have messed up something. All right, let's submit it. And I do expect it to take a bit more memory from the last one and be a bit slower, but that's, that's normal. All right, both of these, as uh, it seems that I always like to forget about this, is that uh, the time complexity of this one is going to be big O of n since we are actually allocating a new string over here. The same as with C sharp, I just forgot to explain them. And of course, the space is uh, finding the last index, which is going to be big O of n, right? So that's pretty much it. And for the other solution, time was constant because we didn't really had uh, any problems and the space was going to be a bit more problematic.